Hey everyone and welcome to the channel Man On with me, Dan. This is my first video and today it will be the first of many where I simulate a whole player's career in Football Manager 2022. Today's player needs no introduction because, well, you've probably seen his name in the title or have already seen the thumbnail. It's Erling Haaland. So the plan is I will forward to the end of the current season and see how well he did at Borussia Dortmund. And then from there, I'll probably skip three or so uh, seasons to check in on him. Let's get started. And here we are at the end of the first season in 2022. And from what I can see from this screen right now is his stats are bloody good this year. 18 finishing, that's incredible. And look at the physical. Jesus. But instantly I'm seeing in the dynamics that he's, he's asked to leave to move to a bigger club, which is interesting. And it looks as if people want him. Let's check his transfers. Okay, so look, Man City, they look like they really want him. He's their primary target. But you've also got Arsenal, Liverpool and Real Madrid after him. So it'd be interesting if there's going to be a bidding war. And, oh, so transfer status by request. So he's put a transfer request in. This is going to be really interesting. I don't think he's going to be at Dortmund at the end of this season. So let's check his stats for this season. Holy cow. 29 goals in 32 appearances. 7 assists. 11 play of the matches with a 7.68 rating. That's incredible. No wonder he wants to move to a different club. So let's have a look at his milestones. Here we go. Holy cow. So he was named the best 11 for Dortmund. He was the runner-up of the Champions League forward of the season. That's interesting. Who's better than him? Lukaku. However, if you look at the differences between them, he scored more goals. He's got a better average rating. I honestly don't know how Lukaku's better, unless Chelsea won the Champions League. Let's have a quick check. Yes, Chelsea <laughs> retains the Champions League. So that explains that one. So he got third place in the Golden Boot, and he was the best named the best player in Europe this season. And by God, yeah, look at those stats. 38 goals in 46 appearances. No wonder. That's incredible. With a 7.62 rating. That, that's crazy. Let's go back to the other. So in awards, he was named Norway's seasonal best 11. He got the supporters player of the year at Dortmund. He broke Dortmund's record for the most player of the match awards with 14. He's had a great season. And considering I'm going to probably skip now for, for an extra three seasons, I can't wait to see where he moves and how he gets on. So everyone, it seems that Man City have got their guy, and Haaland has followed his father's footsteps and joined Man City. He, wow, 116 million, and he's been tearing it up in the Premier League ever since. Those stats are incredible. From the first season, he got 20 goals, 5 assists, 5 player of the matches with a 7.1. 5-1 rating. Then the following one, he's just got better and better, to be honest. 25 goals, 7 assists, and 7 play of the matches, 7.63. And then this later season, he's got 25 goals again, but with 9 assists, 5 play of the matches with a 7.78 rating. 7.78, that's incredible. So he's joined City on £350,000 per week. And he's there till 2030. That means he's got a five-year contract. But he's already been there free, so he must have recently signed a new one. So I don't know exactly how much his contract was to begin with, but he's definitely got more. It's not a shabby amount, is it? Let's look at his milestones. Holy cow. He won the Premier League on his first season. In his second season, he's... Won the treble. No, quadruple, in fact. 
and he's won the Carabao Cup, Premier League, Champions League. Wow, he helped Man City win their first Champions League. He was the top goal scorer in the Premier League. He pretty much t- tore up the Premier League, like I said earlier. World Golden Ball, World Football of the Year runner-up, World Player of the Year. And then this recent season, he's won the Premier League again. He's also won the Champions League again with Man City. That's crazy. Best player in Europe, forward of the season, Champions League golden boot. He's had a great season in the recent one. How many awards has he done? He's broke records for Norway too. So in 2023, most goals, gaining his 36th goal. Actually, he broke the record again with 14 goals in that whole season. He was appointed Manchester City vice-captain as well. High, and he's also got the highest average rating in a season with 7.78 in 36 appearances. This guy is going to be insane. He's only 24. Imagine what he's going to be like at the end of his career. He's going to have so many awards and so many trophies. So let's just check his happiness. And it says he's enjoying being at the club. I wonder why. With all these glorious milestones he's getting and the goals he's getting. Incredible. So now I think it's right. He's 24, right? I think we should... Let's do another three years. Let's see if PSG or someone tries to buy him. I reckon they're the only club that could probably afford him at this point. And But if he's winning Champions League at Man City, I don't see him wanting to leave, personally. And the, and the Premier League. We are now in 2028, people. And Haaland is 27 years old. But his stats look still incredible. <laughs> is From what I can... I, I won't remember the stats if they've gone up or down, but what I have noticed, work rate has gone up a little bit. He's still enjoying his football, and I dread to think why. And he's also got another contract by the looks of it, because he's now getting £450,000 per week. That's crazy money. Imagine what you could do with that money. So let's check out his stats. So the last three seasons... Oh, okay. That's interesting. In 2025, he only got 14 goals. That's quite shabby for him. (laughs) It's great for normal people, but this guy is not normal by the looks of it because he bounced back in the next season. He played 36 games pretty much nearly the whole season with 26 goals, 12 assists, and 11 play of the matches with a 7.86 rating. That's probably his, his highest so far in this game. And in the next season, he had a few fewer games, but still 20 goals a season with 9 assists and 6 player of the matches with a 7.75 rating. Insane numbers for a guy. Let's check his awards for the last 3 years. He won the Carabao Cup, the Premier League and the Community Shield. He's got a double, but not the Champions League this season, unlike his previous two. He's got World Golden Ball, World Football of the Year runner-up, World Player of the Year. The following season, he got the Premier League, FA Cup, and Community Shield, so another double. Again, getting the World Player of the Year. Again, getting the World Footballer of the Year. Golden Shoe, best player in Europe. This guy's insane. He's just not stopping since he's joined City. Carabao Cup in 2028, Premier League in 2028. He's just not lost the Premier League by the looks of it since being here. So let's go to his development in the tactics. I forgot to show you this prior. But yeah, he's mostly been playing as a striker, obviously, with those numbers. But in a 4-2-3-1 wide formation, mostly. That sounds about right with Pep. And here's his record stats. Some great numbers there. The Champions League alone, he's getting an 8.03 rating. 13 games and 9 goals for the Champions League. It's hard to believe he didn't win the Champions League this season. Did he get any landmarks in the last year? Yes, he did. He broke the record for most player of the match awards in a season with 13 
and the highest rating with a 7.85 in 36 appearances. This guy's just breaking records left, right and centre. So, he's 27 years old. Let's see what he'd be like at 30 years old. Will he get better or will he start to decline? Let's find out. And here we are in 2031. And to be honest with you, that doesn't look much different on his profile, apart from he's three years older. He's still got the same contract. The stats look pretty much identical. Let's check his history. Well, actually, that's quite interesting. In 2029, he had a poor season by the looks of it. He must have been injured. He only played 18 games with 10 goals, 6 assists, and 2 play of the matches. With a seven point, He's still got a 7.76 rating, which is still good. But compared to his other seasons, that's below par. And it makes me wonder if he did have an injury. So let's check his milestones. Interestingly, in the last two seasons, he's not won any trophies. That's quite shocking, actually. I'm actually quite surprised. <laughs> so in 2029, he won the Premier League again and the FA Cup. 2030, he was named Norway's season best 11. Best 11 for Man City. And he was 2030 World Cup Golden Boot. And in 2031, he's the top goal scorer with those 24 goals. But no competitions. He's, oh, he was runner-up in the Carabao Cup in both 2031 and 2030. Did he get any awards? Of course he did. It's Haaland. It'd be silly if he didn't have awards. Yeah, he's won a couple of Player of the Months, Teams of the Weeks. Okay, so he's had... Still doing okay. He's still doing well. But he's not won the Premier League this season, considering how many goals he scored. Which makes me wonder, who did win the Premier League this season? Chelsea. Wow, Chelsea have won the league the last two times. And Man City only came third this season. Which is really interesting, considering how many goals he scored. So now he's at 33. If I skip another three years, let's head to the future... Let's see what he'd be like at age 33. We'll find out any second. We are now in 2034, and we are now starting to see his physical stats go in on the decline, which for a 33-year-old, that would happen. And interestingly, it looks as if he's just signed a new contract, but it's £50,000 less a week for an extra two years, so they're keeping him till he's 35. In 2032, he got 30 goals, the most goals he's ever scored for Manchester City. Six assists, six player of the matches with a 7.71 rating. That's a great season. I'm assuming he's won the league in that season. Let's check his milestones. Interestingly, he's not won the Premier League. But he's won, in this recent season, he's won the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. Top goal scorer, of course, with 28 goals. Golden boot runner-up and the Champions League forward of the season. He won the Premier League in 2033. I'm not surprised after those 30 goals. I'd be fuming if I didn't win the Premier League with 30 goals. The Club World Cup, the first time I think Man City have ever won it. The Community Shield, he's won World Football of the Year, World Player of the Year. I think he's won that quite a lot. In 2033... He was the winning goal for Manchester City in the Club World Cup. How many awards has he won? Oh, God. <laughs> um, I'm not going to go through that, but he's won a lot of awards in the last three years. He broke Man City's all-time record for most league goals with 185. Wow. He's also broke Man City's record for goals in a season with 45 goals in 2033. And then the following year, he broke that again with 46 goals. He's got to be a Manchester City legend, right? He's not a legend. Either I'm going blind or I can't see him. He's, is he in the icons? Yes. So he's in the icons for Manchester City. You'd think after being the club's record goal scorer, he'd be a legend by now. But obviously not. Maybe because he's still playing. Who knows? So where are they playing him? 
they're still playing him as a striker with 46 goals, 12 assists. That's I can't get over how great his stats are, even at age 33. Please, if I'm not pointed out anything, please tell me in the comments. There's so much to look at on Football Manager, it's hard to put across onto a video. If you would like to know something, just tell me in the comments and I'll make sure I put it in future videos. So he's got a two-year contract to 2036. I'm going to do three years because I reckon he's going to be playing for a lot longer judging by his stats. I will catch you in a second for 2037. I was correct, ladies and gentlemen. He is still at Manchester City at the age of 36. Disappointed to be injured right now, but... I'm not surprised considering he's 36 years old. But it's only a pulled hamstring for five, one to five days, so it's not that bad. Looking at his physicals, they are really dropping now. Acceleration is at 12, pace at 11, stamina at 9. He's really winding down now. But his technical skills are amazing still. His work rate has still been the same throughout the whole lot. His value is 4.3 million to 13 million at age 36. That's not bad at all. He's got another one-year contract with £325,000 a week. £325,000 a week at 36 years old. I'd have that any day. Let's check his stats. His last three years, he's still playing over 30 games a season at 36. And he's still getting a 7.4 or over 7.4. He played every game this season and still got 19 goals at 36 years old. Even last year, he still played 31 games. He got 18 goals, 2 assists, 8 play of the matches. And he would have been 35 at that point. And he still got a 7.53 rating. The season before was 35 games, 27 goals. Wow. So here we go. Here's his milestones. They won the Champions League and the Premier League in 2037. This guy has got 3 Champions Leagues with Man City. He was the forward of the season. He was the season best 11. I think he's been the season best 11 for Man City since he's joined them. In 2036, he won the Community Shield and the Premier League. In 2035, he was appointed Manchester City captain. Is he still the captain? It must be right, because it hasn't said he's lost it. Yes, he's still the captain. So at 36, with a one-year contract, do I go another three years? Judging by his stats, I think he will go another three years. Should I? I think I will. I will catch you in a second for 2040. Apologies everyone, I skipped one year extra than I was supposed to by accident. We are now in 2041 and he has retired as a player. But he's now an assistant manager and he's wanted. So who's he wanted by? That's interesting. Wolves. He's going to... He's potentially going to be the Wolves assistant manager but let's look at his career stats so he did stay at Man City for those extra three years those final three seasons and he didn't do too badly to be fair he had 35 games in 2037 13 goals so he has dropped his pace his physicals have caused him to score less but he was 37 years old you'd expect that at that point at 38 he had 30 games, 30 games at 38 is incredible. And to score nine goals, five assists, two play of the matches, 7.17. But his last ever season at Manchester City, he played 25 games at the age of 40 and only scored two goals, three assists and 6.94. So he was on the decline, but I think after 25 years playing as a footballer, he's done damn well. And in those final three years, he won the Champions League again. He won the Super Cup. He won the Champions League again with Man City. He won the Super Cup again. He won the Premier League again. And then he retired. He retired as a Premier League winner. I lost count of how many Premier Leagues he's won since I've done this video. But let's check. Let's look at the previous winners. So after all the seasons with Man City... He only lost the Premier League six times. So after 25 years, he had a hell of a career at Manchester City. He might actually do this for real. It could happen in real life. 
at the end of this season. It'd be really interesting to see. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like me to simulate a certain player's career, pop a comment below with your suggestions. Remember to hit the like button, share it with a friend, and click on the sub too if you'd like to see more of this content. It would be hugely grateful. Catch you later.